to another unboxing uh, by yours truly, TrueBD44. Today I'm very excited to be doing this unboxing. Uh, this is the Revo Drive X2. It is a bootable PCI Express solid state drive. Uh, it's manufactured by OCZ and I, Guru3D.com did an excellent review on the 240 gigabyte version of it. Uh, of course, you need a PCI Express slot times four. Now it will, of course, fit in a times sixteen slot, uh, but you know it'll only use uh, by times four because the, that's exactly what the card is. Uh, this is really the fastest hard drive uh, that you can get, you know, consumer level. There's probably one that's more, you know, which is faster, and it's made by OCZ. It's the Revo Drive X2 as well, but it's an MLC drive, but it's uh, like $11,000. So the product that we're looking at today is $3,500, which is still above and beyond the amount that anyone's going to spend on their hard drive. Uh, the reason uh, this is going to be in my next build uh, for a client in Texas, the reason he chose it is because he has uh, business reasons to, to a bot. And uh, it's, like I said in, the, in my previous video, you know, I wouldn't mind having one of these, but it's very expensive. So uh, if you look at the box itself, it's black, it's kind of plain. It has a kind of a slick feel to it, though. Go to the back, and let's see if I can zoom in on these uh, specifications here. Okay, I'm going to be trying to read upside down here. First thing you'll notice is uh, it's 960 gigabytes, which is basically one terabyte, and that's what makes this drive so expensive, $3,500. I think the 240 gigabyte version uh, can be had for probably, I think, $700, and that's the one that Guru3D.com did a review on. So again, uh, you can check out their site. Uh, it gives you the dimensions on it. Here's the read speed. It reads up to 740 megabytes per second. Because on board this uh, card here, it's, it's set up as a RAID 0. And it's automatically done. You don't have to install any drivers or do anything. When you hook it into the motherboard, the RAID is already set up. So it uses the MLC chips in a RAID. And that's how you can get 740 megabytes per second read and 720 megabytes write. That is unbelievable. And it says sustained write up to 600 megabytes per second. That's just incredible. Uh, it gives you the temperature and the mean time between failures, which is 2 million hours. It'll never fail. So just put it that way, it will never fail. Uh, and then it gives the 48k random writes, which what, what the random writes, why that's listed on most SSDs, because that gives you how fast it feels, like if you're in the operating system, how fast it can do stuff. And that's where you really feel the difference between an SSD over a hard drive. The read and write speeds on this are phenomenal, but really what makes you see the, the quickness uh, in Windows is the uh, random writes, which is, and this is listed at uh, 120,000 IOPS, which is like operations. Okay, uh, let me see here. Here's a, it just goes over a brief description about it. Uh, it uses the SAN, SanForce uh, chips in it, which I think are the best right now. I think there's a new one in development in May. There may be samples of a newer, and the, the name of the new drive or uh, memory controller escapes me right now, but SanForce is the, the top of the line right now. So, okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and we'll go ahead and get in this box and see what it looks like. Here's the, looks like an inner box. Uh, this is real thick cardboard. It almost looks to me like uh, if you have like a portable chessboard or a checkerboard or any type of board game, this looks to me to be what the, uh, it's made out of. It's very, it's hard. It's, you can't really flex it. It's, it's hard cardboard. Uh, okay, let's get in here. It's kind of vacuumed on here. Let's pull it out. Okay, there's nothing else in the box but what you see here. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Okay, 
you get a sticker which says my SSD is faster than your HDD which this is very true <laughs> this is faster than any regular hard drive out there uh, unless someone proven me wrong I, I think this is faster than any hard drive available any, any standard type of hard drive uh, and in most all cases this SSD will beat any other SSD out there uh, and again, someone may want to prove me wrong on that, but as far as consumer level uh, SSD, I think this is it. Okay, here is a little uh, manual, and it's an installation of Quick Start Guide. And look, that's all, that's all it is. It's two pages right there. It gives you how to install, locate a times 4 times 8 or times 16 PCI Express slot, and carefully seat the drive into the slot. I mean, literally, guys, that's all you have to do. You put it in there, it automatically notes the RAID. When you go to install Windows, it comes up as a drive, and then you just install Windows on it. Uh, I would think anyone who spent $3,500 for it would use it as the uh, system drive. Um, the client for this build is going to be the system drive. Uh, I couldn't imagine spending $3,500 just for storage, but I'm sure there's applications out there where someone would want that. Okay, uh, setting the Revo drive as your boot device, and it goes over what you have to do in the BIOS, which is all normal stuff that you know you know you would normally have to do. Uh, installing yeah, I think Windows I stand corrected down drive. here where I said you just uh, you know put the Windows disk in there. Here it tells you you have to download a driver at occtechnology.com, and you can put it on a CD or USB key. And then when you get to the Windows screen where you pick which drive you want Windows to be installed on you go ahead and hit load drivers. It actually says in here that it will not show up unless you load the drivers. So there is a little bit of work to it, but believe me, if you're buying a $3,500 SSD, you probably know how to install Windows. Uh, let's see. It also tells you how to format the Revo drive in Windows like you're just using it as a storage drive. Uh, it tells you about some limited warranty, and it looks like the warranty on this product is three years. So that's pretty standard. Okay. Let's look at this card. Of course, it's in static wrap. Pull it out of there, and there's nothing under it, nothing in the box. It's just styrofoam in the card. So, uh, we need to be really careful with this. So, let's go ahead and pull it out. And I will go ahead and just set it on top of this box here. Okay, pulling it out, turn it around, and there it is right there. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Okay, that's what $3,500 looks like. Uh, just looking at it real quickly. Uh, okay, just looking at it quickly. Uh, you can see here, let me go ahead and get a pen to point with. Okay, uh, right here, see where it says drive zero? So I guess these, these two rows up here are drive zero, and then drive one would be these two rows here. Now keep in mind, this is, see how it's double layered? So probably underneath it would be the drive, and then if you go to the back as well. So it looks to me for each drive, there's going to be a total of four, eight, uh, twelve, twenty-four, yeah, it looks like there's going to be forty-eight, thirty-two, there's going to be thirty-two chips per drive, so that means uh, thirty-two chips for drive zero and thirty-two chip, chips for drive one. Next to the drive, zero and drive one, you can see the sand force controllers. Uh, let's see, there's the PCI Express times four connector. I don't see anything else of significance, at least that I can look at and tell you what it is. Uh, now, it's just a regular back on it. It'll go in a regular slot. There's no lights or anything that tells you activity. Now, I assume there's going to be activity lights somewhere on the card where you can look in there and see if it's uh, being utilized. 
but I won't be able to tell that until we get it plugged in because I don't see anything in the manual that would describe that to me. So uh, there it is. Uh, I don't know what else to say except that uh, the person that bought this is very lucky and uh, I will definitely be running some benchmarks on it just to see how fast it really is and of course you can go to guru3d.com they do a review on the 240 gigabyte model which uh, from what I've looked at the specs on it are the same exact as this so this just gives you the more space uh, okay this is the unboxing of the OCZ Revo Drive X2 uh, 960 gigabyte uh, thank you and please subscribe